Hi and welcome to another Tablets Glass Emporium YouTube video. Today I want to have a look at this. This is an idea of a little tulip meadow that's been draped over a lamp bender to create this cool little meadow. Today I'm going to show you how to make this. So to create the daffodils, I've just drawn this really simple shape, just using this, this is the size I wanted, onto the glass. I'm going to deter them and then I'm going to cut the shape out and then I'm going to use the torus saw to just notch this in and then grind it and then to put some enamel on for the leaves and the colour. I need to do is put strips of glass on the on the paper like this. I've measured my mould and I know that as long as I keep in the lines of this paper the, uh, the glass will fit on the mould nicely. So here it is out of the kiln. Now guys, I said measure your mould before you do this and I didn't. And actually of course it's too short for this light bender. I thought this was slightly smaller. I had a small one I was initially going to use, but it was I wanted to go with something bigger than that. And of course I've gone too small for this. I can put it on this light, um, light bender mould. And so that's what I think I'm going to do is I'll put it in the kiln on this and we'll slump it over the light, um, light bender mould and have a look when it comes out. Um, so lesson learned, measure your moulds before you decide your project. Don't do what I did. Um, it's going to have a long, slow ramp because it's going to be quite close to the elements. This is quite a high mould. So if you're close to your elements, you want to go slowly up because otherwise you'll thermal shock on the way up. And it will need a long anneal so that it's properly annealed coming down. So I'll get that in and we can have a look how it is when it comes out. So here it is out of the kiln. Um, it's kind of gone quite like funky, um, some of the drape on it. Um, you know, these, this hole is really opened out and these are really pulled down. Um, this was kind of on the floor of the um, kiln uh, by the time it finished. But I think it's kind of fun. I think that worked kind of interestingly, um, that it's sort of, you know, what gravity has done. It wasn't a particularly hot, um, it wasn't a particularly hot uh, drape. Um, I mean that kiln does fire slightly hotter than others, so these things are always taken into consideration. Um, but I think it's fun. I do find, honestly, you know, with, with draping, you never know 100% what you're going to get. Um, I'm sure there are people who are better out there than me, um, who are amazing with their drapes and know exactly what they're going to get each time, but I always find it's a kind of interesting science. But I quite like this. I think it would look super cool with like a candle behind, or a flower pot here with some other flowers. I think that would work really well. I love how the um, daff um, uh, daffodils turned out. Not daffodils, tulips, I keep doing that. How the tulips turned out, love them. Um, and I think it worked really well. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Remember you can get all our wonderful tulips and other products at tabithasglassemporium.com. You can follow us, you can subscribe here and get notifications turned on so you know when a new video is coming out. Go to our website and sign up for our newsletter. Follow us on Facebook and we have a Facebook group. You can join and share your products making um, using Armorini to create fabulous fused glass and other items. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then, happy fusing.